I made a commander deck that wins by losing. Here's how I did it. All right, so you got Bane, Lord of Darkness. All you need to know about him for now is that less life equals more winning with him. That's He's not important right now. But the goal of the deck, you know, is to win by losing. Though, there's a problem. Losing the game means losing the game. This is bad, and we don't want this to happen. However, what if losing the game meant not losing the game? Well, that would be quite nice for us. That's where the first tactic of the deck comes in. You get cards like Cloud Steel Urine, and then it says, oh, you can't lose the game, and your opponents can't win the game. And we get a bunch of cards like that that have that same effect. Our Lich, too. This one actually sucks. But my chat really wanted it in the deck, and they voted, and they said it was going to go in the deck. It sucks, though. But yeah, all these cards are really good at making you not lose the game, especially the Book of Exalted Deeds, which you can take a card like Mudavolt, uh, and then you can put it on there, and then it becomes a land, and it's untargetable by most things, and then you just can't lose. Or Packed Weapon, which, you know, is zero life or left. It's the same thing, but you get the idea. All right, Gideon of Trials. This one also kind of sucks, but we're looking for a very niche card, and this one just happens to be it, so we can't be picky. Now that our life is equal to zero, we can go to Combo Part 2. Winning the game. How are we going to do that? Well, bam. Magus of the Mirror. It has a card effect that says, Sacrifice Magus of the Mirror. Exchange life totals with target opponent. So we swap life with our opponent while we're at zero life. And because we have a card effect that says we can't lose the game, our opponents will lose from having zero life, and then we won't lose. Bam. Also, Mirror Universe does the same thing. And then you got cards like Soul Conduit or Axis of Mortality. And they can swap multiple times, which is very fantastic. Or we can do it immediately with Profane Transfusion. Though it costs 9 mana, but don't worry, that's not a problem for us. It also has amazing art, I just want to say. Whoever made this, great job, Vincent. And also this card has an added bonus where we get an XX colorless ho horror token. And then it's the difference between player's life, which is good for us. And then we also have Repay in Kind, which is like the best card in the deck. Because it kills all players if we're at zero life. So first up, we got Dim Le Lim D we got It sets up a combo for us, which is really cool. And it gets us the cards that we want while also lowering our life. That's just actually fantastic. Then you have the, all the talismans. And this ramps us, plus it kills us. Fantastic. This is exactly what we want. Soul Ring. It needs no explanation if you play Commander why it is here. I live... I live-streamed making this deck, all right? Uh... And my chat wanted to put in Armageddon. So Armageddon is also a card in the deck. All right, we have Judge's Familiar and Siren Storm Tamer, which both counter spells and then they die, which is great for our commander because when things die with him, then good things happen. Let me explain. So basically, he says, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, target opponent may have you draw a card. If they don't, you may put a creature card with equal or lesser toughness from your hand onto the battlefield. So he wants our stuff to die. Also, he has a cool pair of boots. And let's say something dies. We either draw a card, or we get a creature that draws a card. For example, let's say we have Mother of Ruins. She dies. We now get to draw a card, or we play a card like Baleful Strix, that when it enters the battlefield, we draw a card. We've stacked everything in our favor, and it just works. We have Keen Duelist, Midnight Reaper, and Pain Seer. All these cards exchange life for card draw. And that's what we need, because we need to search through the deck to find our combo pieces, because otherwise there's literally no way we can win, because this deck is horrible. All we care about is getting a card like Platinum Angel, and then a card like Profane Transfusion, so we can just insta-win the game in a funny way. Cards like Diabolical Dueler can help us. They can get cards like Cloud Steel Kieran. Uh, Priest of Fell Rites, that taps, then we pay three life, and then we could potentially get a card back like Platinum Angel. And then it has an unearth ability that we could use it again. That's fantastic. Spell Skite. I didn't want to put this one in the deck because it's really expensive and the deck is already a really high cost because of some of the cards that we need in there. But once again, my chat really wanted me to put this in the deck, so here it is. Stormscape Familiar. That gives us big ramp for white and black, which conveniently are other two colors. Also, the deck is like 75% black, so it works out very well. Defiler of Flesh. This says if there's a black cost in a card, bam, you pay the two life instead. And then you get plus one, plus one counters everywhere. Peer into the Abyss. You can draw 40 cards with this, which is actually amazing. But then, if you have Chasm Skulker, you could get 40 squids with this combo. It's the same combo with this card, uh, as long as you have Chasm Skulker. 
So is to plowshares. So when you play a card like Soul Conduit that exchanges life totals eventually, this card, Swords to Plowshares, gains your opponent life. So when you swap life, it's actually your life. So it net gains us life. That's fantastic. Mold Drifter. Fish. Wall of Blood. This card can insta-kill you, which is fantastic and exactly what we want. Because we need to get no life. Plague Crafter, because it shows up in every commander with black in the color cost. So, you know, here it is. Spark Double. Spark Double. It's good with the commander. We are one-third blue, by the way. Therefore, we must ruin the fun of the other players. So I've added these two cards in here. Wash Away and Forceful Denial. So our other opponents cannot play their spells, which I think is going to be very fun. Shriekma. Fish. Relent Let's say you get your opponents got 50 rats, right? What are you going to do? Bam. Cleansing Nova. And we destroy all creatures. Now your opponent has no rats. This is fantastic. And you can destroy all artifacts and enchantments, but you know that's, that's neither here nor there. You could also do River's Rebuke, which is the same thing, but just a little different, where you target one person and it goes to their hand, which is like better and worse in some ways. Then you got Toxic Deluge. Same thing, but it also kills us. But it's a good thing that it kills us, because we want to die without losing the game. Spell Queller. Yod Utility. We got Corpse Augur. Not only does this card draw you cards, it also kills you for the price of drawing those cards, which is very good for us. Fish. Now I know what you're saying. Noah, this card ain't a fish. However, you'll see that it's actually a shapeshifter, so therefore it can technically turn into a fish and is a fish. Karmic Guide. This can also be put on the Book of Exalted Deeds, because we don't really have a whole lot of angels in the deck, so that's nice. Also, it's good with the commander, like a lot of the other cards in the deck. Oh, how did this card get in here? Yeah, this one's good for searching through the deck and killing us, which is exactly what we want. Not sure what happened to the card art there, who, who could say? We got a fish. Sun Titan, that can get us a card that's really good. That's fantastic. Blood Gift Demon, I don't care about this one. So I know what you're saying. Noah, this card costs a lot of mana. It's the big mana. How are we going to pay for it? Well, let me tell you. Mana. We got Burnished Heart, which we can sacrifice, which is good with our commander and get land. We got Solemn Simulacrum, which can also die and help us. We got Azoria Signet, Demir Signet, Orzov Signet. Oh, look, it's a Fell War Stone. Is that an arcane signet? And last but not least, Wayfarer's Bobble. I I wrong. I, I miscounted it. The last one's Commander Sphere. All right, here's the lands. Nobody cares. I'm just going to put them here. All right, only a 0.1% of viewers are subscribed. If this is you, thank you. Otherwise, please subscribe.